So he paces out quickly toward the lead, getting just a bit steppy there. Potomac Affair from the inside, also away well, Smoke and Nukes, and Smoke and Nukes crosses over in second position. Racing into third is Mantique, Potomac Affair is fourth, Grandma Hanover is in behind him fifth. Armbro Warhol gapped the gate slightly. He's sixth in the early stages, followed up by four stars Nuki. Emery Sealster is still on a break and trails the field as they pace toward the opening quarter in 30 and two fifths, a very, very soft first quarter. And Potomac Affair is out and rolling for Howard Parker up to engage Hogan Highlight for the lead as they move toward the half mile marker. And Potomac Affair has taken command. Gap back third, Smoke and Nukes unable to stay with the top pair so far. Mantique follows him fourth. Rama Hanover, a rail ride in fifth. Armour of Warhol is gapped slightly in sixth. Then it's four stars, Nuki following along. And far behind, trailing the field, Emery Sealster. Potomac Affair cleared up the half in one minute and three-fifths, a 30 and one second quarter. So basically, it's turned into a half-mile sprint, and Potomac Affair has a length and a half head start. Hogan Highlight is with him in second. Smoke and Nuke still two and a half lengths further back in third. Mantique is asked to quicken, and he edges off the pile from fourth position. Up on the outside, four stars, Nuki picks up that cover. Grandma Hanover is gapping six. Seventh is Armbro Warhol, and Hogan Highlight pops out of the pocket. He'll take a run at Potomac Affair as they come to the top of the stretch. Three quarters in 130 flat, and Hogan Highlight is trying to surge past, but Potomac Affair is quickening on the inside, and these two Colts are slugging it out with an eighth of a mile to go. Miller and Hogan Highlight on the outside. Parker and Potomac Affair Affair digging in at the rail. Hogan highlight a short lead. Potomac Affair second. Hogan highlight wins the sprint. Potomac Affair second. Tight for third in one. 56 and two. 26 and two. Final quarter. Returning to the winner's circle is number five, Hogan Highlight. Two year old son of Matt Scooter out of the No Nukes Mare, Sincere Ironstone. Owned by Brian Brown, Ridenauer, Henkel, and the Highlight Stables out of Ohio. Trained locally by Larry and Ray Remen, and Dave Miller is in the sulky. Hogan Highlight, a $20,000 yearling purchase, sprinting home in 156-2, last quarter in 26-2. Third race, the UCC Foundation Challenge. We welcome Dr. Thomas Brown, Joe Flanagan, and Jim Johnston. Trackside to make the presentation to the connections of Hogan Highlight. Post time for the fourth race, 13 minutes away at 824. Superfecta wagering to go with Exacta and Trifecta. In the fourth race, scratch number eight, Carnival Clown, due to sickness. Number eight, Carnival Clown, has been scratched sick in the fourth race. 12 minutes till post at 824.